All right, music fans, welcome. Harmless Dave here talking real music in real time for a few real people just like you, just like me. And of course, we're talking about real issues and we're trying to relate it to the music industry. Um, thanks for being here, by the way. Thanks for subscribing to the channel. And for you uh, new patrons, you can patronize at a dollar a month if you'd like. Just find that little Patreon logo on the top of the page here on YouTube and uh, click on that. That will bring you to Patreon where you can do a dollar a month, two dollars a month, five dollars a month, a hundred dollars a month, um, whatever you'd like to give. I, I don't expect a hundred. A buck would be great. Uh, John Ferris he used to play drums with NXS. I think he uh, is potentially still the drummer for NXS if they ever wanted to uh, find a replacement for Michael Hutchins. I don't think that worked out uh, the last time they did it, but, um, you know, they are still a very relevant band here in the United States, uh, primarily getting airplay from the Kick album, which I guess is their best album technically, but they have so much material. Uh, they have such a great catalog. Uh, in college radio, um, <clears throat> they were my go-to because everybody else was too weird for me. Whereas NXS was this great funky band uh, with a great melodic sense uh, from Australia. And the Australians, they really know melody. If you look through their you know, more uh, popular roster of bands, you think of like ACDC, very melodic band, uh, Air Supply, other end of the spectrum, very melodic. Um, Little River Band, just amazing uh, in those uh, melodic tendencies. And In Excess falls right in line with that stuff. Um, again, Men at Work, there's another one. But uh, getting back to John Ferris, I mean, he caught the attention of producer Niall Rogers. And uh, Niall ended up producing In Excess, and uh, the results were pretty good. Um, you have to be pretty a pretty decent drummer to get the attention of Niall Rogers, who himself is just this amazing producer. And I think he also plays drums as well. So again, um, what John Ferris is talking about in the year 2021 is uh, quite relevant. And he released a short statement a while ago. And uh, I'll tell you what he says here because it's, it's brief, but uh, it's just putting it out there and he's going to get maligned and doxxed and they're going to link all kinds of things uh, in his life story to say what a horrible person John Ferris is. But he says um, no to doing the thing for his children. Now, he didn't mention himself here. He just said, no, nope, um, I'm a parent with questions. And while there's so much information and disinformation and coercion, yes, around thinging my kids until I'm satisfied all my questions have been answered around the thing for children, I'm going to say no. That's it. That's his statement. You can probably find that statement and watch it. Uh, it's on a website called Informed Choice Australia. Informed Choice. So you know, um, there's a lot of crazy stuff going on in Australia right now, and it's good to see that uh, John Ferris is out there, and people seem to care about what high-profile people do and say. I'm sure there'll be multiple articles about how John Ferris has lost his mind, and how he doesn't trust the science, and how in this crucial time with the Dodge Omni variant spreading worldwide, why? Why is John Ferris risking his kids and saying no to the thing? Yep, I'm sure those articles will be out there. Anyway, short little video here just to praise John Ferris. Uh, super underrated band. Uh, you really should go digging through in excess, especially their earlier work prior to their super success with all these other albums, especially Kick, but um, uh, prior is just like right from the beginning. But I would say Shabu Shabba in that period was really some interesting music that 
again, um, springboarded into something that really took off both here in the States and in Australia. Of course, the band never recovered from losing Michael Hutchins. Some people you just can't replace. And Michael was one of those characters. So um, that's my video. I'm done. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.